So when we count permutation, order matters, but sometimes when we take things, um, order doesn't matter. So we call that a combination. So um, the number of combi combinations is always less because the order doesn't matter. So for example, how many different ways can three letters be chosen from A, B, C, D, and E? Okay, so this is like you are, you know, going to a concert, but you can only invite three of your friends and you have five to choose from and you want to know how many different combinations can you have. So let's actually list these out. We could invite friend A, B, and C. We could write invite friend A, B, and D or A, B, and E. Um, we could invite friend A, let's not invite B, A, C, and D. A, C, and E, or A, D, and E. Okay. I think that's all the different ways that we can make it inviting friend A. So now let's not invite friend A. Okay, so we can invite friend B, C, and D, or B, C, and E, or B, D, and E. And if we don't invite friend B either, the only one left is C, D, and E. And I think that's it. I think there's just 10 different ways. Okay, so this is an example of a combination. In combination, order does not matter. And the formula is N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. So if we were to do this last problem using that formula, um, we had uh, five letters and we were choosing three of them. So we would have five factorial over three factorial, and then N minus R factorial would be five minus three factorial. That, sorry about the handwriting. So five factorial is 120. Um, wow, you can't see that at all. Let's try that again. So this is three factorial times two factorial, which is 12. Hey, look at that, we get 10, just like we said. Um, again, we very seldom use the formula. Um, you have this button on your calculator, um, both on the scientific and the graphing calculator. All right, so we have a 12 member jury, has to be selected from 20 people. How many different juries are possible? This is a combination. It doesn't matter what order we pick these people. So we have 20 of them, and we are going to choose 12. We always have the bigger number first. If you accidentally put the smaller number first in your calculator, your calculator is going to rebel and tell you that it's wrong. Um, so let me, I don't have a calculator up yet. Let's see if we can find one. All right. Um, so when we put this into our calculator, we get 1, 2, 5, 9, 70. All right, we have 53 women competing for the title of Miss America. How many different ways can the top 10 finalists be selected? Okay, now order doesn't matter here. It's just you're going on to the next round. So we have 53, and we are going to choose 10 of them, um, which is a big number. My calculator does in scientific notation, 1.9499 times 10 to the 10th. Or if you want to write it out, um, Something like that. Lots of ways to choose those finalists. Good for them. Okay, now we're going to get to a little bit more complicated problems with these. So we're going to make a 12-member swim team um, from 10 girls and 15 boys. We have to have five girls and seven boys. So how many different 12-member teams are possible? So we cannot just do... Um, 25 choose 12 because we have to be specific about girls and boys. So first we need to think about the girls and then the boys, the ways to choose the girls, the ways to choose the boys, and then we'll multiply them together. So for the girls, we have 10 girls and we're going to choose five of them. And for the boys, we have 15 boys and we're going to choose seven of them. So that gives us 252 
times 6,435 for a total of 1 million and some more. All right. Um, if you're playing poker, you get five cards out of a deck of 52. How many different poker hands are possible? Order doesn't matter. They're just dealing the cards to you. So we have 52 and we are going to choose five. So this is a combination. There are two million, two and a half million different poker hands that you could get. All right, now here's where some of this probability is. Um, we're a Delta poker ham and we wanna know how many ways are there to get a full house. Um, a full house, in case you're not sure, is three of a kind and two of a kind. Okay, so maybe you get three tens and two twos or something like that. All right, so three of a kind. Um, in a deck of cards, there are 13 different things. You can get one through 10, if ace is a one, plus then jack, queen, and king. So we have 13 different things. And of those 13, so let's say fives, there's four of them, and we want to be dealt three of them. So four, choose three. So that's how we get our three of a kind. Maybe I should scoot that over here. So three of a kind. There's 13 different suit or uh, types of things. And then we want four, choose three. And, so this will be multiplication, two of a different kind. So if we had um, fives, we can't get fives again. So now there's only 12 things to choose from. And we want to do four, choose two of those. Okay. Um, so when we do this, we get 13 times 4 times 12 times 6. There are 3, 7, 4, 4. Okay. So there's 3,744 ways. Now, where we would go with this is if we would say, what's the probability of getting a full house? If your deck just dealt, you know, poker cards, the probability of getting a full house well, here's the number of ways to get a full house divided by um, the total number of ways to deal the cards, and then that'll give you your probability. As you can see, um, it's a pretty small probability, so a full house is a good hand in, um, in poker.